So you wanna know why a niche is so important, right? Well, stay tuned for this video because that's exactly what we're gonna talk about today. Hey guys, it's Lee with Simply Smarter Income helping you to create a profitable blogging business. Now this channel is all about how to grow your blogging business and other ways to create an income online. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now today's video is all about why a niche is so important when it comes to blogging, right? So today I'm gonna basically go through three reasons why a niche is so important. So the first reason is that you'll be able to easily identify and access customers. So when it comes down to niche selection, when you actually hone in on a particular niche versus just being all willy nilly and broad and just all encompassing, you're gonna be able to easily identify the people that are interested in that particular niche and you're gonna have access to those people because they're actually coming to your blog and they're consuming your content, right? So let's say you have a blog on sewing machines, right? Or sewing, well, you know, everybody who's coming to your blog, they're interested in sewing, they're interested in fabrics, they're interested in stitchings, and there are all these different things associated with sewing, but those are the things that they're actually interested in because that's why they've come to your blog and that's why they're consuming the content that you have on your blog, right? And so this is gonna be a great way for you to actually get in front of these, and this is gonna be a great way for you to actually partner with different brands, affiliate programs, and things like that, and put that information in front of those people because you are able to easily identify those people and you have access to them as well. So that's one of the main reasons why you know you really want to hone in on a particular niche and not have a broad sort of approach to things and that really takes me to the second reason and that is is because broad marketing is not as effective as niche marketing so for instance if you had a blog that was on sewing machines but it was also on you know running and biking and hiking and working out and I don't know, a paintball, right? If it was all of these different things, well, now you're running into a problem because now your um, your actual niche is not really a niche at all. It's actually very broad. And it's a hodgepodge of different things, right? And so it's gonna be much more challenging for you to actually put things that are important to the people who are actually on your blog, it's gonna be that much more difficult because now if you have, let's say, a new partnership with a bike uh, company, right? Now it's gonna be hard for you to figure out who is actually into bikes, like who visited your, your, your site because now you don't know, do they come to your site because they like sewing or because they like running or is it biking or is it something else? I, I don't know because now your niche is so broad and you're talking about about so many different things, it's gonna be very hard for you to segment your audience to actually put those different uh, brand opportunities or affiliate marketing opportunities or valuable propositions in front of those different people because now you have no idea what is actually important to them. And so that's the reason why, you know, having a niche is gonna be much easier because now you can target and be very specific on the different types of brands, the different opportunities that you actually put in front of these people because now you know that chances are this is gonna be very important to whoever you put it in front of because they've come to your site and your site is all about sewing, right? Or fabric or whatever is associated in that sort of arena and that world around sewing. So that's why broad marketing is not gonna be as effective as niche marketing. So that's another reason why having a particular niche is gonna be very, very important for you when you're starting your blog. So you need to make sure that you pay very close attention to this. You need to make sure that you do a lot of research on this as well so that you don't end up in a situation like that because that's one of the worst situations to be in. Now, obviously there are websites out there that have, that have lots of different niches and things like that and they are successful. And I'm not saying that it's not attainable, but it's gonna be much more challenging for you to accomplish versus having a particular niche. And, and in fact, a lot of those blogs that you do see that have all these different niches sort of rolled up into one, they've actually started off with maybe one or two particular niches and they've grown over time and introduced those new niches over time as well. And that's the reason why they're still successful because they found ways to make sure that they're able to segment each of those different people that come to their site because they're gonna be able to figure out what they're actually interested in when they come to your site. So that's something to really keep in mind as you move forward. Now, the third reason is, is that niche selection can be directly correlated with how much income you can expect to actually gain from it. And basically what I'm saying is, is that not all niches are created equal. And so there's more of an upside for some niches than others, basically, right? So for instance, if your niche is all geared around, you know, thrifting and saving money and penny pitching and all that kind of stuff, right? Now those different niches do exist, right? And there's nothing wrong with those, but you have to take a step back. now. 
personally I've never been involved in a niche like that but you have to really think about it these people are looking they're looking for opportunities to save money to not pay money to get secondhand items and all of those kind of things so it's gonna be more challenging for you as a blog and it's gonna be more challenging for you to actually find high paying affiliate offers and different brands and things like that to actually put in front of these people that are not interested in spending money at all they're actually looking for ways to not spend money so you have to think about how that's going to actually affect your blog versus if your if your blog is versus if your niche is something like you know this is going to be a challenging niche but let's say it's something like luxury watches right well now we know that people who are interested in luxury watches they have a lot of money to spend because why well luxury watches are not cheap and you know that there's tons of brands out there and different opportunities that you can actually put in front of them and they will be appreciative of it and it's something they're actually looking for right now because they are going to be spending a lot of money if you were to partner with a brand and they had like a 10 or 15 percent off code or something like that that they can only get from your blog right for a limited time or whatever whatever your actual agreement is, that's gonna be very valuable to those people, even though they already have the money to spend, but that's gonna be opportunity for you to make money, right? Versus, again, those penny pinchers, those people who are actually just looking to not spend money or looking for the best deal and things like that, you're gonna have more opportunities available to you, right? And so if you think like, oh, luxury watches, that's just a you know really over the top example. Okay, fine, maybe, but what about like hunting, right? A hunting, hunting is a different niche, right? But it's also a niche where you can make a lot of money Money also why well because hunting is a very it's a, it's a very deep niche right there's so many things going on when it comes down to hunting right you have hunting knives you have gear you have tents you have survival gear you have all these different things associated with actually you know hunting so there's a lot more opportunities there's a lot of brands there's a lot more affiliate um, commissions that there are out there to actually make in that particular space so there's another example for you right there basically what i'm saying is is that obviously you're not gonna obviously you're probably not gonna go for something like thrifting right but what i'm saying is is that when you do get into a particular niche you need to really do your research you need to see what brands are out there you need to see what affiliate marketing opportunities are available you need to see what types of opportunities there are for you to actually have your own product or service as well right because maybe if you have a huge booming you know hunting website now maybe you want to offer up um, you know an opportunity to actually sell your own branded hunting knives right or whatever you might dream up or maybe it's a survival course right whatever you are able to actually position and sell that's an opportunity for you but again if you pick a niche where people are not willing to spend money or they don't want to spend money or they don't spend much money at all in that particular niche it's gonna make it that much harder for you to actually make money from your blog right so just keep those things in mind those are the top three reasons why a niche is so important now if you made it this far in the video and you like the video and you found it helpful make sure you give it a thumbs up sign also if you haven't already make sure you hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this every thursday thanks for watching this video and i'll see you guys next time